Hey there again, this is Grant with VGI, and today I am going to be watching for the first time, and I have no idea how in the hell I missed this one the first time around. Uh, Prey of the Gods, the official trailer number two. It just came out, I think, three or four days ago, and I'm getting on the bandwagon right now, but from the snippets I've seen, it looks sick as hell, so, well, let's see how it is. Uh, this is number one. Let's go to Prey. Prey of God's official number two. Here we go. Let's see how this is. From what I've heard, it's like a love child between uh, Shadow of the Colossus and God of War. Whoa. Music's interesting. It's like, mm, I don't know, almost Norse. Kind of feels that way. Hmm, big door. Mine's a Moria thing going on. <laughs> it's right here. A dragon. <laughs> Pretty epic. Big ass castle. That's not a dragon, that's, what the fuck is that? It's like a, it's like a dragon without the head, but like a bird skull. <laughs> this grappling hook, it's like Nathan Drake on steroids. You dead, you fall from that height, you dead. There's no fucking way you're living through it. Pray for the gods. Support us on Kickstarter. Please do, it looks really good. Looks very, very good. Let's see. It's got another few seconds. Maybe something else will pop up. Trailers just, you know, like, should start including things like Marvel does. At the very tail end. You have to stay the whole entire time. Well, that looked pretty damn good. I, I can see why people say that it looks like a mix between A Shadow of the Colossus and God of War. The scale is definitely Shadow of the Colossus. And actually, God of War has, has some of the same scale. I mean, when you're climbing on Titans and everything like that, it's pretty similar. So I can see why there is a comparison made between the two. Uh, I will absolutely love like grappli uh, grappling hooking that's the way you say it, onto like dragon, that dragon or whatever that thing was, just a month. It, it looked kind of like a dragon, but not a dragon. Uh, I love doing that and then just flying around in the air and just killing the thing from the sky. That would be badass as hell. Uh, there was like, let me t let's take a look at the Kickstarter because I know my looking at this. It looked pretty well set up, like they have the trailer on top and everything, and just breaks down everything. There's actually going to be exposure in this. Like you have to, because everything happens in the snow, or it looks like a vast majority of the game happens in the snow. It looks like uh, that if you stay out in the cold too long, there's going to be negative repercussions, which will be really cool, because then you got to like figure out how you stay warm the whole entire or you have to figure out how you're going to stay warm enough to survive but you also have to like traverse the cold to it, the way they say uh, make it sound is there's going to be a lot of rewards for doing so and like risking the cold which i think would be really cool uh kind of a risk first reward setup that will could have a huge payoff and then there was uh something that i think is pretty interesting what is it? Because I skimmed this. I skimmed the uh, Kickstarter already. Oh, yeah. The, if you get lost, they're not going to have a mini map. There's none of that. No hand holding. What it is is you can like figure out where you've been by the footsteps in the snow, which will be really confusing, but it will also like. I think that'll be immersive as freaking hell. You you have to pay attention where you are. You have to keep an eye out. You're going to be really good at tracking by the end of this, which I think will be awesome. Uh, and as far as how they're doing right now, I think they've already raised 241,000. To fund the game, they're looking for 300. 
uh, 300K. So it's not too much longer and there's still a good deal of time. So anybody who wants to uh, jump on board, it looks like it's gonna be a great game. And it's gonna be sh like Shadow of the Colossus uh, 2.0 from everything this looks like. So it's something that a lot of us have wanted for a really long time. So if you guys have the money, I would say pledge your support to this. It looks like it's gonna be well worth it. And there's, they're also at 325,000, they're gonna do more animations for like bosses and your avatar. So I know it gets really boring uh, for certain games where you constantly go into the same animation and again and again and again and again. So the more variety and the more fun it's gonna be for us. So it's just something to think and uh, keep in your guys' heads. If you can donate a little bit more and push them over that 325, it'd be awesome. And in 350, they're gonna do like more armor and weapons too. So just something to keep in mind. It looks like a sick game, guys. I'm excited to play it. Are you? I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have anything to say, mention it down below. And Hope you guys have a great day, great week. Catch you later. Remember to like this idea if you want to see it made into a real game. And subscribe so you know what games are right around the corner.